Hi all, I hope all the gardeners out there are enjoying monsoon at its peak. Nature is getting more and more beautiful each day as if it is restoring itself. So as many of us, not only this is the best season for you, it's the most suited to do any type of gardening work. So today I am going to share my work for the fusion bonsai of people and banyan tree. I have seen a banyan tree and a people tree fuse together naturally and ever since I wanted to create such bonsai. These materials were collected and are grown for about a year and a half now. Slowly tapping the pot so the root ball comes out. I had stopped watering the plant for about one week now. The people tree here was grown in the pipe to create the longer root. I have created sandy soil mix for this project. I will comb the root ball with the fork or any such tool carefully to separate the roots. Like with every project, nothing explicitly goes as planned, so I had to devise something to get stuck people out of the pipe. Soil is loose, but it seems one of the root is stuck with the pipe. I had to cut it out somehow. Finally, able to separate the people. Luckily most of the roots are intact. Now let's see which side looks perfect for this to tie up with the banyan tree. After multiple revision, I guess I have sorted out the front side. Now double checking everything because once we are through the next step, it's almost impossible to reverse the effect afterwards. Tying up the both with cotton cloth and thread. Making sure to apply enough pressure so in future they fuse together. time to prepare the soil for the material. Now let us cover the drainage hole. Actually it will take few years to fuse together. Meanwhile you don't need to work with the actual bonsai soil. However the soil has to be well drained and nutrient rich. A small layer of gravel and a sandy soil will make sure the drainage works properly. Afterwards some portion of vermicompost. I am using the local vermicompost. These are best suited for such projects. You don't necessarily have to buy the expensive one. However, you need to make sure that the compost qualities are great. Create a small heap of soil and place the bonsai material over it. Provide the support. As the material has been grown, for about few years now, it has extremely good root structure, so small rocks are good enough to provide support for the structure. Make necessary corrections and ramifications as and when needed. There are no fixed rules to follow, all you have to make sure as the material which you are planning to grow should look good to your eye. Slowly and carefully combing the root structure so in future that will create a great nevery.
now add the soil carefully across this entire structure once it is placed use your hand to further separate the soil and cover all the areas if needed add some more soil as i have said there are no fixed rules now this is an important step to follow use any sharp tool and carefully insert across the entire soil still make sure that all the areas are properly covered so leaving no room for the air bubbles usually this air bubble will be extremely harmful for your bonsai material repeat the procedure till you almost entirely fill up the pot yes of course you need to be leaving the half an inch of space for watering now carefully combing the uh, exposed root structure to create a beautiful navelry now support this uh, roots with some rocks now gently press the soil it is now time to cut out all this growth and unnecessary branches i know it can be extremely difficult but it is needed for your material to survive now you can apply the fungicide to all the cut out branches you It is always advisable to spray fungicide or neem oil on your material considering this is monsoon and can easily rot. For more such videos like share and subscribe the channel.